March 11th, 2022. I'm watching, it's around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, EST, um, GMA3. Um, and I'm in this thought pattern at the moment. In this thought pattern, uh, because it's such a colostomy bag, there's a narrative, like an o but an overlay narrative, confusing as anything, um, that led us here. There's a representative from former President Clinton, which I'm pretty sure between him and Bush, somewhere in there, there's there was some guy named Alan Greenspan worked for something called the Fed when I was stuck at Merrill Lynch uh, after being raped and carrying the first kid. Not that this was the storyline I was designed for, it's just where the humans have thrown me into this, like, HP, like, prism, genetic prism. It's disgusting. On the fish island. And so now, the... A uh, Fed guy called Alan Greenspan said that he was lowering interest rates. Now, for mortgages and the housing market on Long Island, the local morons were incredibly excited. They said this was going to open up all sorts of things. It would be easier to afford houses and cars and credit cards. No idea what that meant. At the time, I was only making uh, three, five figures, while the person in the office that I was working with to try to learn was making over six figures. He was making high six figures, and I was making low five figures. Now, um, this was how I worked at Merrill Lynch because there was no other option. There was something called a 401k and an ESOP plan. Didn't really work. And then the health can healthcare plan changed and didn't work. But these were, as Alan Greenspan was lowering interest. What was he lowering interest in? You mean the HP prism and getting it into safety zone... Because it looks like they lowered a lot of interest, which actually increased the f inflation being flat and causing the problem we're experiencing today. So now there's this articulation and overlay at what actually happened. I don't know, again, who supported Clinton, who put Clinton in the White House. Again, don't know the same thing about Bush, but this all led to this most horrific home invasion in the White House within my life frame, which again, it was a crime scene when I arrived. So now I'm just listening to this man, plus what I've had to go through in New York while I can't even figure out a way, like every door has just been shut or made so difficult that it just qualifies on a checkbox, but when you actually look into the details, if someone actually gives a shit, which it doesn't look like they have, you can see just how far off the logistics money mechanics have been in New York while they've been letting so many things slide and go. It's disgusting. Measures so the this, change in cost. This is the North American narrative that they're using when the whatever is speaking, because they're in Oh, whatever they did in broadcasting. But there's a different underlying narrative that's even more frightening at economy and ecological, meaning planetary, meaning the heavenly bodies, 
meaning the timing and the biological safety of the units in the field, which is what I am, but I'm not safe because I've got all of this stupidity talking the wrong narrative, and I got some infected White House that I don't know how it happened. I mean, it's... Who's running their show? I don't know. But this is the thought pattern that they go by, which I thought meant one thing, but in North America, when I look out on the streets, it's been acted on completely different. of goods and services. Well, that rose to a staggering 7.9% in February. All right, so that means uh, for the fourth straight month, inflation has hit a new 40-year high. Let's bring in now former Secretary of the Treasury under President Clinton. 40-year high, and it says combating record costs, Treasury Secretary under President Clinton, this guy, I don't have I don't have a name on him. Talks highest inflation in 40 years. He's on GMA and this is this network. Clinton and President Emeritus of Harvard University. Professor Larry Summers, so good to have you here with us and good to have your mind, your knowledge. This is what you do, this is what you study. So help us here. Oh my god, he went to Harvard. You know, Lou never even got to college. They're about the same age. Lou doesn't have the correct whatever network, it would appear. I don't know what Harvard's promoting, but I wasn't. They denied my... Um, I applied there. They denied me. Boston College would take me, though. So would Boston University and Northeastern. But for some reason, Harvard denied me. Thought that was a little strange. Help Americans understand here. Um, how much worse should we be prepared for things to get? And is relief only going to come when this war in Ukraine is over? I think it's probably going to get... During the unrest in the American colonies and the Boston Massacre, might I add. Here we are, 43 years into the Boston Massacre. It's going to get worse for the next uh, couple of months. I think uh, when the war in Ukraine ends, that will be helpful. My guess is that people are going to be living with uh, higher inflation for the next year or two. And we're going to see some slowdown in the economy from the pace of growth uh, that we uh, that we have uh, seen. Now, does this narrative for anybody who really knows what's going on? Does this narrative even sound slightly or remotely similar to what needs to be spoken about in order to perpetuate real change? I'm just curious. We know officials from the Fed Reserve are set to meet next week. You've said that the Feds need to act strongly in order to avoid a recession. What would strong actions look like? Hark, do I hear an angel speaking? Does he say increase interest rates? Yeah, they need to increase the interest in preventing global warming and the heavenly bodies and the celestial committee. They need to flatten, in hindsight, retrospect, and actuality, currently, whatever the hell they've been up to, because it ain't working for anybody in this section of the globe. In this, we'll call it quarter. I think they need to raise interest rates. So while... Some are enjoying these beautiful retirements and they had money the entire time, vacations, big galas and things, right? The rest of us did not have enough money to go week to week, month to month, to pay, just to pay the bills. Uh, at times we had housing. Everything's been unstable in where I've been in North America, in the state of New York. And there's no such thing as a retirement account 
or a pension account or any kind of social security. There's been absolutely nothing provided by management, humans, or opportunity while other people are working on, I don't know what. I think they need to signal that they're going to do more raising of interest rates. Signaling interest. Hmm. That would have been a key back in, like, when I was first starting to, like, need the correct over six foot person to arrive. More interest would have been nice. They need to signal that inflation is uh, their uh, top priority and they need to recognize that they should have been... Uh Instead, they put top priority on inflation, in flattening all this equality and causing further insecurity, growing that, like, <laughs> by the bushel fold. <laughs> yeah, great job. Uh, moving to tighten policy much sooner than they have. The Fed can't blame this on the pandemic or the war, and the administration can't blame this on uh, corporate greed. This is fundamentally about the very delicate task of managing the level of demand in the economy. Uh, so much on the demand in the ecological delicate balance of nature and the universe. They also had a formula recall today. So in like an articulated story, they've got big X's on the top and they're sending it back because the Fed had something. They need baby formula now and some kind of signaling or whatever. I thought that was interesting on GMA. much on uh, people's minds right now because it's in their face every day gas prices and you recently said and, uh, <laughs> and he I, I don't even listen to their conversation I mean I will every now and again to sample the narrative but they speak and it just it's their level of mental disease that they've been fed and it doesn't make sense to like what management actually needs in focused group and feedback. Because last time I checked, the world's not doing so well, and the planet's not so healthy, and my genetic, physiological, is not interacting with ecological as well as it was when I was first, when I first arrived. That's like proof in the pudding kind of a thing. And again, I'm putting this on the economist, everybody. They might not agree with you here, but you said that the cost per mile of driving is relatively low by historical standards. Now, I want, I'm going to give you a chance to explain what you mean by that. So explain what that means and also the direction that gas prices are going. What does that uh, tell you about the way the rest of the economy is going to go with that so much of our money is going in our gas tanks right now? TJ, look, uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to step back and look at hard figures. And uh, relative to, for example, 2012, when President Obama was uh, reelected, actually, if you adjust for inflation and you adjust for the fact that cars are more fuel efficient, now, here's the disgusting things these humans did while I'm the only one that seems looking for Santa at all times. Um, not only did they allow the break-in into the most supposedly nationally secure facility being the White House, but then they allowed four more years of intrusion. How did that work? I'm just curious, looking for the correct, I don't know, group, because I think the humans have lost their minds. And there's signs of it, just in code, coded format. 
because there's some of us that don't like what's going on as we see it. And I don't know who's controlling this narrative in this dangerous way. Whether they're just trying to cover their, their tuchus or their keister. But it's not helpful for the rest of us that want to be quiet in silence. We can silence ourselves again, but need to see the signs of, like, reality that is expected when you're walking around in a genetically looking human. Okay, so ready? Here we are. Used to be the head of the Treasury Department. They said, I don't know his name. I don't know. They said around the time of Clinton. Again, don't know the details surrounding that. Whatever. We're going to check in with Professor Larry Summers. Talk about what we need to be doing about this current inflation crisis. And then the FDA recall on formula. It's sending some families into a frenzy when it comes to meeting their children's nutritional needs. You may pre Right. Here's baby formula. That's what the signaling committee put together in a broadcast for today. I don't know how many people are awake and alive and knows what it means. I don't know how many people actually get this broadcast. I have no humans to speak to in any form of intelligence community. Don't know where they hide. Don't know how they organized or what they call themselves. I saw Drew Barrymore today had a really nice looking family situation where the wife was designing a ho their home in Florida while her husband, who had a Sons of Liberty t-shirt on, went away, was deployed, some deployed somewhere for some reason, whatever the hell that means, I have no idea. And he went away for a little bit, and then he came back, and when he came back, the whole house was renovated, and, like, they did this, like, whole big, like, human thing. I don't know. Again, I don't know how to find... What door is safe? It's been too many years of being misled and purposely held away from what's safe. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketters. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.